getting reports, all force fields down. Civilians taking to the streets in droves, Cerberus pulling back. That won't last. The people don't have the training to go up against Cerberus front lines. They'll be wiped out. Civilian casualties can't be avoided. You'll have to accept this. Say what you will, Arya. I won't allow senseless deaths. Do what you can to protect them. Of course, Commander. Report. My team is scouting the maintenance tunnels. We've encountered Cerberus forces escorting engineers. They're moving gear. Look to be setting explosives to the station's central support columns. Bray, engage. Delay them as long as you can. We're coming. Got it. Roll out, people. If they detonate the main column, they'll cut off the way to afterlife. The Talon offensive will be stopped cold. So we split up. Yes. Nyreen, lead the frontal assault. Shepard and I will meet you in the markets after we've taken care of those bombs. Of course. But don't count on me building your memorials if you get yourselves killed. I like it when you're feisty. The only route to the central column is through the tunnels. before Cerberus sets off those bombs. We have to stop them. Over there! We can get to the bomb controls once the access panels are open. Console is locked. We'll have to manually disable them. Take care of the bomb, Shepard. I'll handle the circle. Three left.
Two more. Just one to go. Things are under control here. What's your situation? We're advancing to the Gozu district. Move forward. Keep that flank covered. Yes, boss. We're holding our own, but Cerberus has started targeting the civilians. Reports of casualties are coming in from all sectors. Save those you can, and head for the rendezvous point. We'll meet you there. We'll do what we can. Nyrene out. So how exactly do we get to Afterlife from here? I'm thinking the straightforward approach, for a change. Cerberus. How do you know? This is a town. Never mind. like they bit off more than they could chew. We should get a move on. of the project on schedule. Before host conversion, we should begin the process of fusing the control implants to the subject's nervous systems. With the current success ratio, we project being able to surpass demand by 300%. The first generation adjutants have been transferred from the containment area and are being outfitted with the implants. The previous batches have been processed and moved to the storage area. 
We can now control when and where the adjutants convert their victims. Initial testing on various species provides ample proof the virus can adapt flawlessly, regardless of the host used. With the civilian population contained, we should be ready to initiate the next phase of the project on schedule. Before host conversion, we should begin the process of fusing the control implants to the subject's nervous systems. With the current success ratio, we project being able to surpass demand by 300%. Those idiots were experimenting on adjutants. That explains the ones we saw earlier. Extra security. The doors only open one at a time. Makes sense, considering what they had locked up in here. The door's unlocked. Let's get out of here. That doorway leads to the Gozu district. Look out! Focus on the attack! This looks familiar. I liked it better when Morden Solis was here shooting up looters. Morden is dead. Pity. He was a very practical kind of Solarian. Take out the turret.
Cerberus is still on my station. Of course something's not right. Not what I was talking about. I'm checking this out. Going radio silent. What the hell is she doing? Where's Nyrene? Scouting ahead. We've got our hands full holding this area. She's going on to afterlife. Irene Kandros was a good soldier. It's a shame she had to die for your petty ambitions. You're a dead man! No, wait! <laughs> what now, Petrovsky? Divide and conquer, Commander. Kandros killed the adjutants we hadn't finished experimenting on. These are fully under our control. The protocols for our future army.
Cease and desist all aggression. It's over. Commander Shepard, I surrender myself into your custody. That is the most pathetic thing I've ever heard. Shepard, I'm unarmed. And I can give the Alliance intel on the elusive man. You'll say anything to save your skin. I, I let you escape, Omega. I deserve mercy. Is this true, Arya? Yes. Cerberus had successfully taken the station and he let me go. Do you feel that, Oleg? That's death. Only inches away. Remember this feeling. I'm letting you go. For my partner and for the war against your master. You better cooperate. You and your alliance can decide his fate. Just get this filth off my station. Commander, glad to see you've had a calming effect on Ms. Talok. I tried talking sense into her one time. I look forward to hearing how you pulled it off. Don't assume you know where this is going. What? From what I understand, high-ranking alliance POWs lead fairly comfortable lives. Who knows? You and I may even become friends. That's not happening. Bray, get him out of here. I've been waiting to kill that man for months. Walk around with you for a few hours and I go all soft. You're like a disease. This victory came at a cost, Arya. It's not soft to recognize that. You sound like someone trying to sell something. I admire your tenacity. And thanks to you, I have Omega back. So what's your plan? There's a lot to rebuild. Starting with this. Command Center. It may take some time to remove the general stink from my throne. Wonder if I'll ever really enjoy the pole dancing in here again. The citizens of Omega have been through a lot, Arya. Try to remember that. How can I forget? There are reminders everywhere I look. And don't worry. I'll honor our arrangement. Troops, ships, and a mountain of Izo. You earned it. Then I'll be going. Bray will take you back. I have a station to whip into shape. Citizens of Omega, hear me. I, Arya Talok, have given you back your lives. My rule is reignited. My hand is on the controls once more, and I will not let go again. Each of you owes a debt. Gain my favor by rounding up the remaining Cerberus invaders and... and we will cast them from our home. Then bury and mourn our dead. My methods haven't always been popular, and I can't promise that will change. But securing this station, and everyone inside it, is now my primary purpose. No one will imprison us again. We may be bruised. We may be bloodied. But we are Omega. You always get these crap details, Bray? Not this time. You got a galaxy to save. Let's get you off this rock. <laughs> 